And finally, as pupils at an Edinburgh secondary school prepare to move into their new state-of-the-art facility, a thousand desks and chairs from their old building are on their way to help youngsters in Africa. Many of the contents of the old Portobello High are being shipped to Ghana, where pupils lack even most basic educational equipment. Claire McNeil reports. It's time for clearing out the classroom at Portobello High. Pupils here are about to embark on their next chapter when the doors to their new multi-million pound school open at the end of the month. But while the youngsters are moving less than a mile along the road, the contents of the old school are travelling halfway around the world to help support school children in Ghana. The problems in, in, in schools, especially in the rural areas, are very, very bad. Uh, some of the children have to, have to carry their chairs. I mean, the stools they used to uh, sit and cook in the house, some of them will have to carry them to go to school in the mornings, walking miles. And, uh, and, uh, and some, even some schools don't even have uh, chairs at all. A thousand tables and a thousand chairs are being sent to their new home by the charity Chance for Africa. One of its founders, who is in fact a pupil at Portobello, says a donation will make a huge difference. It has an awful impact on them. They, they don't want to go to school. Uh, it's not fun if you're sitting on the floor trying to learn, whereas if you've got a nice desk and chair, you're comfortable, sit with your textbooks. It'll put a smile on every child's face and they will want to, they'll be skipping going to school. Look. We are delighted that as we have the opportunity to move into a fantastic new building for Portobello High School, we have also got the opportunity to help learners in Africa who don't have access to the same educational opportunities that we do here in Scotland. So it's a double positive for us in Portobello. This container will start its long journey to Ghana on Thursday. But it's hoped that by next month, the equipment which has played such a huge part in the education of children here will now be able to provide a platform for those less fortunate to learn. Claire McNeil, STV News, Portobello. Well, that's all from us now. You can see more on the news on the hour on STV Edinburgh. And we'll be back with the headlines at 8 and the late news during Scotland tonight. But from all of the team here in Edinburgh, have a very good night. For news and more 24 hours a day, download the STV News app.